Very good evening, dearest friends, and welcome. Welcome into our meditation upon preparation for the reappearance of the Christ. And we have been uh, going on in this meditation, I think, since 2018, I suppose so. And we have been reading the book of the reappearance of the Christ. So let us start again. We are working uh, still. It is the chapter four, the work of the Christ today and in the future. And now we are in the section which is Christ as the releaser of energy. And um, I just suggest that you close your eyes and you meditate uh, with this text, what Tibetan has been given for us. And this is coming uh, from the page, in the end of the page 88 forward. During the first three months of the period of crisis through which Christ and the hierarchy passed, and which was ended by his announced decision, certain great energies or fundamental streams of force were made available to Christ and his disciples. Today, the fact that energy is the basic substance in the universe, that all forms of life are energy forms living within greater energy forms, and that all such forms, great or small, use energy and as act as distributors of energy is a well-known and generally accepted fact by thinking and intelligent people. Speech, the written words and motivated activity are all expressions of energy, lead to the spread of energy and to activities which are all expressions of energy and the cause of energy distribution. Governments, churches, organizations and groups are all energy distributors and also storehouses of energy. Humanity itself is a great center of energy affecting all the subhuman kingdoms and forming likewise within itself a great system of interrelated energies. The same thing is true of the individual who by his acts and words employs energy, produces effects, which are energy effects and acts as a distributor of energy. Where the undeveloped individual is concerned, he releases none of this and the energy which he manipulates is of relatively small importance. As evolution proceeds, an individual men and women achieve power and expression. Their use of energy is frequently of major importance. They become dynamic centers of energy distribution and their words spoken or written plus their activities produce wide effects and momentous results. The hierarchy is a great energy center and through the Christ, its energy reaches humanity. This is the significance of his words. I am come that they might have life. Life and energy are synonymous terms. During the war 1914 to 1945, the Christ and the hierarchy looked on at a dying world. Men and forms were dying on every hand. Old ideals, organizations and groups were passing away. And the specter of death stalked on every hand. Destruction characterized the phenomenal world as well as the subtler worlds of feeling and of thought, 
life was withdrawn and death resulted. The problem of Christ and his disciples was to see that the old and the undesirable were not revived. Revived. Their task was not the res uh, res res I'm sorry, uh, resuscitation. I hope you understood this resuscitation of the dead and the useless. The directed inflow of life carrying the capacity to build a new and the energy which could produce a new world and a new civilization. There lay their opportunity and their responsibility. The reactionary forces of the world, political and religious, decided the resurrection of the old and dead forms. They th threw their weight and their influence, which is only another name for energy, against all that was new. This they are still doing. The progressive forces fight only for that which is new. And and seek not to preservation of any of the old forms, even if they could serve a useful purpose. Their energetic denial of all that is of the past and the destroying energy which they direct against anything which is of the old regime are likewise handicapping the efforts of the hierarchy. In these progressive forces, hope does indeed die, but they sadly lack skill in action and have too great a love for destruction. The new group of world servers hold steadily to the noble middle way, as the Buddha called it, and seeks the descent burial of old forms, the implementation of that which is new and the restoration of that which, which has in the past proved useful and good, and which could form the living germ of the new creation. So reflect for a while in your own life. How do you see this new which is on the way in your life? And how could you respond to that? And what then on the other form is the old? What has to go? And maybe we don't dare to let it go. So reflect for a while, thinking about the energy of the Christ and how this energy is really fitting in your life at the moment.
maybe we got some ideas and some hints for ourselves what are those things what should be taken under consideration and under transformation and I'm starting a translation into Finnish because we have got people okay Ehkä äskeisessä mietiskelyssä saamme jotakin, jotakin kuvaa siitä, mitä meidän tulisi itsessämme kenties muuntaa. And again I'm reminding that we could have in this meditation notebooks available. There are some questions by Master DK. Olisi ehkä hyvä pitää muistikirjaa esillä, koska on taas tässä mietiskelyssä mestä tekoon kysymyksiä. And those notes that we are uh, using then in our working for the preparation for his coming. Ja sitten niitä muistinpanoja, joita käytämme, kun työskentelemme hänen jälleen tulemisensa puolesta. So let us have now and start our meditation. Aloitamme mietiskelymme and alignment, virittäytyminen. Let us breathe white light in our own rhythm. Hengittäkäämme valkoista valoa omassa rytmissämme. For achieving alignment in a voice, jotta saavutamme virittäytymisen ja sisäisen tyydeyden. We can say, voimme sanoa, go within and know that I am God. Käänny sisäänpäin ja tiedä, että minä olen Jumala. See each of your co-disciples in the light. Näe kaikki kansatyöntekijäsi valossa. In the light of the soul, sielun valossa. Aligning with your triangle and triangles. Virittäytyen myöskin kolmiosi tai omiin kolmioihisi. Aligning with the global network of golden triangles. Virittäytyen globaaliseen kultaisten ver- kolmioiden verkostoon. Visualize the flow of love and goodwill passing between the members of your triangles and between the members of this group. Visualisoi rakkauden ja hyvän tahdon virta, joka kulkee kolmioittisen jäsenten kautta ja myös tämän ryhmän jäsenten kautta. Stage 1, vaihe 1. A 
achieve a positive and intended personality quietness. Saavuta positiivinen ja tarkoituksenmukainen persoonallinen hiljaisuus. Now formulate clearly to yourself, in your own words, the answers to the following questions. Muodosta selkeästi omin sanoin itsellesi vastaus seuraaviin kysymyksiin. 1. As a member of the new group of observers, what is your specific and fixed intention? at this moment of dedicated contact with your soul. Maailman palvelijoiden ryhmän jäsenenä, mikä tällä hetkellä on sinun erityinen ja pysyvä aikomuksesi sielussasi olevassa omistautuneessa yhteydessä? Two, is your concentrated and expressed personality purpose in line with hierarchical intention as far as you are permitted to know it? Onko sinun keskitetty ja ilmaistu henkilökohtainen päämääräsi linjassa hierarkisen pyrkimyksen kanssa siinä määrin kuin sinun on siitä sallittu tietää? Three, have you in your own personal daily life earned the right because of definite effort and not so much because of success to stand with those servers who are now undertaking the work of preparation? Oletko omassa henkilökohtaisessa arkielämässäsi ansainnut oikeuden johtuen tietoisista ponnistuksesta eikä niinkään menestymisestä? Seistä niiden palvelijoiden rinnalla, jotka nyt ovat ottaneet tehtäväkseen valmistelutyö. This is the one time in the meditation where you think of yourself. And it is here because it is a method of personality. Tämä on ainoa kohta meditaatiossa, jolloin ajattelet itseäsi. Ja se on tässä kohtaa, koska se on persona metodi. Focused attention and aligns your personality upon the mental plane. Keskittäytynyt tarkkaavaisuus ja se linjaa persoonallisuutesi. Mentalitasolle. Having now answered these three questions in the light of the soul, let us say with emphasis. Kun olet vastannut näiden, näihin kolmeen kysymyksen sielusi valossa, 
Lausun nyt ajatuksella ja lausun nyt tämän englanniksi. Let us say together. Forgetting the things which lie behind, I will strive towards my higher spiritual possibilities. I dedicate myself and you to the service of the coming one and will do all I can to prepare men's minds and hearts for that event. I have no other life intention. Stage 3. Visualize the world situation as best you can and in terms of your major world interest. Visualize on maailman tilan niin hyvin kuin kykenet sen mukaisesti, mikä on pääasiallisin kiinnostuksesi. And with what knowledge of world affairs you may possess. Ja mitä tietoa sinulla maailman asioista on. See the mass of men everywhere glowing with a dim light. Näe kaikilla, kaikkialla ihmismassojen hehkuvan himmeä valoa. And here and there points of brighter light where members of the new group of world servers and men of spiritual intention and of loving hearts are working for their fellow men. Ja siellä tällä kirkkaamman valon pisteitä, missä uuden maailman palvelijoiden ryhmän jäsenet ja ihmiset, jotka ovat henkisesti suuntautuneita ja joilla on rakastava sydän. Työskentelevät kanssa ihmistensä hyväksi. Now visualize through the creative imagination the vivid light of the hierarchy. Visualisoi nyt luovaa mielikuvitustasi käyttäen hierarkian elävä valo. And recognize the quality of that light. Ja huomioi tämän valon laatu. See it streaming towards humanity. Ja näe se virtaamassa kohti ihmiskuntaa. And slowly merging with the light which is already in humanity. 
ja hitaasti sulatuen valoon, joka jo on ihmiskunnassa. Let us say the first stanza of the Great Invocation. Lausukaamme nyt ensimmäinen stanza suuresta invokaatiosta. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. Now ponder upon the reappearance of the Christ. Nyt pohdi Kristuksen jälleen tulemista. Realizing that no matter by what name he may be called in the many world religions, he is still the same great identity. Oivaltaen, että riippumatta millä tahansa nimellä, häntä kutsutaankin maailman eri uskonnoissa. Hän on silti tuo sama suuri identiteetti. Reflect and speculate upon the possible results of his appearance. Pohdi ja arvioi mielessäsi hänen ilmestymisensä mahdollisia seuraamuksia. Ponder upon these three things, what has to be in place before he can come. 
Pohdin näitä seuraavia kolmea asiaa, jotka tulee olla kohdallaan ennen kuin hän voi tulla. When a measure of peace has been restored. Kun tietty määrä rauhaa on saatu aikaan. When the principle of sharing is at least in process of controlling economic affairs. Kun jakamisen periaate on vähintäänkin prosessissa kontrolloida taloudellisia asioita. When churches and political groups have begun to clean house. Kun kirkot ja poliittiset ryhmät ovat alkaneet siivota toimiaan. Then he can and will come. Silloin hän voi tulla ja tulee tulemaan. Second stanza, toinen stanza. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. Endeavor to concentrate your fixed intention to serve and to spread love in your surroundings. Pyri keskittymään lujaan aikomukseesi palvella ja levittää rakkautta ympärillesi. Realize that in so far as we can do these things, we are attempting to blend our personal will with the divine will. Oivalla, että siinä määrin kuin kykenemme tekemään näitä asioita, pyrimme yhdistämään persoonallisen tahtomme jumalalliseen tahtoon. Third stanza. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose 
which the masters know and serve. practical plans. Consider practically what you can do in the coming week to further the preparations for the coming of the Christ. Pohdiskele nyt niitä käytännön toimia, mitä voisit tehdä tulevalla viikolla edistääksesi Kristuksen tulon valmistumista. In the presence of the angel, make a definite plan for the coming week. Enkelin läsnäolossa teet tarkka suunnitelma tulevalle viikolle. And then write your plans down. Ja sitten kirjaa ne ylös. Let us ponder upon the coming week. A few minutes. Pohdiskellaan nyt tulevaa viikkoa muutaman hetken ajan. Let us now respond to the vibrations of the Christ. Vastaan nyt Kristuksen värähtelyihin. Respond to his energy. Vasta hänen energiansa. And let us commit ourselves in his name. Ja omistautukaamme nyt hänen nimelle. And let us say, ja sanokamme, we have gathered in your name, Lord Maitreya, be with us. Me olemme kokoontuneet sinun nimesi, Herra Maitreya, ole läsnä meissä.
and let us welcome his presence. Toivottakaa me hänen läsnäolonsa tervetulleeksi. Let us now sound the Om three times for closing. Lausukaamme nyt Om kolmasti, dedicating the threefold personality to the work of preparation. Omistaan kolmenainen persoonallisuutemme valmistelutyöhön. Thank you, dearest friends, for good work. Sydämellinen kiitos kaikille ihanasta työskentelystä. Tomorrow we have at the same time the dissipation of clamor, meditation, ja huomenna on harhojen hävittäminen, mietiskely. Thank you so much, lots of love and good night from Finland. Oikein paljon rakkautta ja siunauksia ja hyviä öitä täältä etelästä.